back again for another Monday video. I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. And today, I don't have a clue. <laughs> As usual, I'm just going to do a little willy-nilly freestyle on this journal page today. And so I'm just going in. You saw that big old bag of scraps. Well, even though I'm back from my art retreat, I haven't necessarily unpacked, per se. Um, I just grabbed the Ziploc bag out and stuck my hand in, and out came that, um, I believe this is just like craft paper that comes in the roll that I had gesso a little bit on, and I'm just going with it. As you know, I love me some masking tape. So I put the masking tape down. I'm going in with the gesso, the Deco Art Media gesso here with a palette knife just to kind of bring some cohesiveness to the page and grabbing that Lyra graphite um, pencil and just doing a little messy journaling, grabbing the brayer. I'm just really freestyling over here, just feeling the energy, trying to determine where I want to go. Now, this cool little idea came when I was packing my supplies, and this is a silicone salad dressing bottle that is perfect for traveling with your paints because that Lucas Paints Gray is my fave, but goodness gracious, that bottle is huge. So I put it in the silicone mold, um, little dressing thing there, and it worked perfect. So I'll make sure to link the silicone dressing bottles down below. I also, my friend PJ gave me some Heidi Swap. Um, spray inks there and I'm going in there with the teal and the gold and just kind of bringing and playing with some of the um, colors that I really like right now it's kind of fall and this is a Tyvek um, envelope that I did that I had kind of contemplated on using but it doesn't make the audition so I guess it auditions but it doesn't make the cut rather I should say so I learned that um technique from my friend Claire while I was at the art retreat and um I may do a video on that on the Tyvek um envelopes if you're not familiar with that cool process and uh it makes some really cool texture so as I'm drying I'm just simply auditioning different pieces and parts out of my bag and just to see what I decide that I like or don't like. And I decided that I really wanted to bring out more of the gold tones from the Heidi Swap. So I grabbed the gold gesso. I believe that is Daniel Smith gold gesso um, that I brought out to just kind of play with. And I'm making some marks because y'all know if I don't know what to do, I just grab and make some scribbles and marks. And oh, well... Y'all do know because y'all hang out with me every Monday. So, um, I'm just kind of playing with some rusty fabric here. Kind of getting um, some thoughts on that. I grab my alcohol inks. This one is the Adirondack Honeycomb Alcohol Inks. And I'm just making some drips in the right places and not in the right places. I'm going in here with the 91% um, alcohol, just regular like alcohol you probably have in your cabinet at home, and moving that um, around a little bit. I'm squishing the other page with it and then using some more of that craft paper I had to clean it up and kind of pull away some of the areas. I love me a brayer, so I'm going in with a brayer and just kind of playing with the area that I like or don't like, getting a feel for it. I'm going to go back in here with just a little bit. You want to be light-handed whenever you're making these marks here, and I'm just going in ever so lightly with the gesso and just bring some of the lights back in, and now I'm thinking what to do, what to do. So, I got the find of a lifetime whenever I went to Canton First Monday Trade Days in Texas, and I found a cursive typewriter. Hello! What a score! I'm so excited about that typewriter. 
And so I typed out a little quote that I had found on Pinterest. And I'm going to use that on that inky paper that I did. It kind of was cool because I would used it to clean, um, clean it up a little bit. So it kind of matched what I already had going on. And so I'm going in there with um, the china marker and just bringing some of the darker scribbling marks back in. And the quote says, you're not a mess, you're brave for trying. And I think oftentimes we forget about, you have to be brave to try things sometimes. And so um, you might be a mess, but at least you tried it, right? So don't forget on the opposite side, I'm just using here a cute little post-it and I'm going to write down my recipe that I used. So guys, that's pretty much for today's page. I hope this encourages you to grab all your art supplies, make a big old mess, and remember, if you can think it, you can try it, and then decide if you like it. So I hope that you go out there, make lots of art, and remember you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are below. Until next time, guys, to lose.